So in the last video I covered what a local area network was and how this was a type of network that was usually just tied down to a single local limited location. So in the more or less opposite case you have what is called the VAN aka the wide area network where the network is not tied down to a single location but can instead connect together devices from multiple different locations across wide geographic distances. In other words, VANs allow data to be transmitted over long distances. And this effectively allows different local area networks to connect to each other globally, instead of just locally. And one of these types of networks you may have heard about is this thing called the Internet. Yes, the Internet itself can be regarded as a wide area network, as the Internet is just one global network that ties together many other smaller networks. But the internet is of course just one of many wide area networks out there. And a van obviously doesn't need to be as big as the internet. A wide area network can also be run by for example a private company. As an example, let's say a company's headquarters are in city A, but it also has branches in city B and C. All of these three locations have their own local area networks, but they also want a networking infrastructure that connects together all of these locations. This can be done with the help of an internet service provider, aka ISP, who can set up an interlink all of the company's local area networks under the umbrella of a single wide area network. One of the most common methods of doing this is to set up something called multi-protocol label switching, aka MPLS. Make sure you check out my video about MPLS as well as I won't go into great detail about this here. But MPLS is a form of private wide area network set up by the ISP where each location of the company is given its own connection to the MPLS network, allowing each location to privately communicate with each other over the MPLS network where also all the routing is handled safely by the ISP, in a way that the traffic between the locations are partitioned off from the public internet. This allows for a much more private and secure form of communication than if the company were just using the public internet. Now, MPLS is just one of many VAN technologies out there, and of course, I will continue to cover all of them on this channel. But to sum it up, really any group of networks that spreads out further than a LAN over a geographic area is technically a VAN. And since pretty much the beginning to today, VANs are still the largest and most expensive forms of computer networks out there. Thank you so much for watching and please leave a comment.